up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers of Flesh and Faith DLC as the mighty and ten remaining Oath Takers, the Mighty Knobs. Now, it is day 665, not 666 yet, we have one more thing to do and we're right outside its doorstep. I have travelled to the south and I grabbed as many like bombs and everything that I could to give us the best chance as possible. People tuning in will notice I've only got 10 men, I could have hired two more people, but as we discussed in the last episode, if we're doing this now, there's no point bringing in any more subscriber characters for the last fight, just because I then feel bad because then now I would just like waste them, so I'll use them in the next series. If you did put your name down for this series and you haven't seen yourself, please let me know if you would like to see yourself in the next series instead, and I'll get you in at like priority level, like you'd be the first group of people to get in, as it were. But, loads of people have had their mushrooms, loads of people have had their resolve, uh, potions, I've armoured and up to the best that I can, I can't let this tick over because I've run out of food when everyone's going to be really sad, uh, the Oath of the Minion ended, I had to take the Oath of Righteousness because it was the best one out of the three, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the enemies in the water mill are undead, so it kind of might work in our favour anyway. So. Possibly for the last time in this series, let us go my knobs. For all the people that we have lost up to this point, they have been stepping stones for us to get to this stage. Let's do it. Oh boy, chills, literal chills. The elderly man is already waiting for you when you enter. He turns rather rapidly as though interrupted. So you have returned, and have you succeeded? Have you avenged my boy? Are you sellsword worthy? Would this make me worthy? The blade of the reproach of the old gods vibrates and hums. You hold it forward in both hands, the steel wobbling ever so slightly on your fingers. Smiling once more, the elder nods and turns his hand to the hanging hilt. It lifts up off its holder and floats across the room to your hands. There it turns aside and melds into steel, becoming whole with a flash of orange and blue. It is one of the most incredible blades you've ever seen, with glyphs of moons and stars flaring along the fuller. When you look up, you can see through the elder's chest he steadily fades away. My son has been avenged. His spirit can rest, and now so can mine. You watch as the finished sword lifts into the air and rotates with the steel pointed down. The cupboards burst open and strips of leather fly out and clasp shots of binding that draw together to complete a sheath. I'll take it! The approach of the old gods then falls and you reach to catch it, but a ghostly hand steals it away. You look up to see the elder unsheathing the blade, revealing its fire and ice as though he'd broken... He brokered a new day and gloomy night in the very spectrum of his steel. He chokes with laughter. Avenge my son! Be worthy, idle doings of simpletons. You did well to chase the carrot, sellsword, and for that I will kill you quick. Pauldrons and braces and a chest plate rise out of the millwell, sheets of grain stringing off them to reveal their garish shapes, and the metals twist and float to the elder, fiercely striking his body as though they meant to armor the very anvil that helped craft them. The suit of steel comes together as the occupant croaks with laughter. Hands grab you by your shoulders and drag you out the house. You are shielded by the knobs. The elder Geist turns his head. A mob of morons, is it? Depart the lot of you, and you shall be spared. I only ask that you leave me the captain, as I have already promised his demise. Rafe draws his weapon, and the rest of the company follows suit. The elder holds up the... Crepuscular? Sword in return. Though the steel is firmly real, the Elder's body is rippling to and fro like a thinly veiled curtain on a moonlit night. He sighs and parts of blue ether drift from his lips. He turns the blade so its edges face you. So be it. Here we go, everyone. This could be the end of things. I mean, it's technically the end of things anyway, but we're either going out in style or surviving this and retiring to a nice life. See you on the other side, everyone. Okay, so it does look like they are undead, so we've actually kind of looked out a bit with that. Um, fallen Betrayers, I don't know if they're better than Fallen Heroes, or if they've just got like an edgier name. I assume this is Mr... Yes, that's the guy. That's the man. Yes, officer, this man right here is the cause of my concern. Okay. Well, we've got a hill, so I could definitely push up slightly and use it. As to who's going to use it, I don't really know yet. But let's be a little bit cautious. Cautionary tale. Because I don't really know what to expect. There is only ten of us, remember? As unfortunate as that is. And I, I, I'm i pretty sure I've read about what this sword does, and it's not a fun time. So, we've got to be a little bit careful in that regard as well. 
That's a good start. I also gave Thin Rally, because I know we don't have a banner person anymore. Um, but it might not be required, depending. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. This is going to be a learning experience for all of us. Well, except the people who know what happens in this fight, but... Other than those people, it's going to be a learning experience for all of us, okay? I said it. Okie doke. What are you going to do, big rash guy looking guy? Mm, I'll wait for him to come in. Where do you think he'd be stunned? He can be stunned. Well then. Interesting. Now, obviously, the only main annoying thing is that these guys will just keep getting back up. There's the rub. That could have been worse. Also, a lot of people have taken mushrooms. You'll notice very quickly. I don't really know if there's much point throwing these grenades. I mean, I suppose I could throw one, like, there. And he will slowly get their keisters cooked, but not to the point that I'd want. That's not good. Man, Finn's angry. I mean, I think everyone's angry. Everyone's still reeling after the Kraken fight. It's been almost two weeks since the Kraken fight. Oh god, Hank, I'm sorry. Uh, but still. Well, let's see what you can do. Show us what you can... Show us that power. Uh, well, I don't want to stand in the fire. You know what, Fives? Go and help out Hank. I'd say I'll try and make it so nobody dies, but honestly, cannot guarantee that. Oh, okay, stunning him. Well, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm saying there's a, I'm saying there's a chance. I'm saying there's a chance. All right, Garrow, come down, please. Not bad. Not bad. Right, your armor's gone. You're dead, but you'll probably get back up because, of course, you will. Solid miss. Shield back on, please, yo daddy. I don't like that. Yeah, get burned. I don't care. Do we have... Does anyone have a flash pot? Can you imagine if I can turn him into my... I don't think that works. I, I wish it did, but I don't think it does. Okay, you've wasted too much of your turn, right? Good. Let's keep... Sp Slap him on the head. It didn't sound like it did a lot, but keep slapping him on the head. Yep, worried about that one. <sighs> that fire did not go for as long as I wanted it to. Okay, well, note to self, that didn't really do all that much. I keep overwhelming, though. Okay. Hey, Hank, at the very least, if you do end up going out, you've done... Stop hitting him in the heads. Oh boy. Are any of them gonna die? Yes. Well, dying's probably the wrong term to say in this in this one, but you know what I mean. You're not going anymore. Come on, get angrier. Angry. Okay. I have noticed that they also take two turns, similar to like the undead in the sunken library. So they do have that ability that we need to be careful of. Because usually fallen heroes only get one action. So, just to keep that in mind. I need Rafe to recover. Because he is out of juice. Can you just, like, stay down for five minutes? I'm not even asking for that much. Uh, ooh. Start working your way around. You're out. Start working up. God, I'm getting... I know it's a 90%, but all it takes is a 10% miss. 90% is not 100%. I need to remember that. Recover. I think this is the... Ow! This is the turn to recover. Well, unless you're fives. <laughs> right, you're stunned. And keep this group, like, half stunned whilst I deal with this group. Because even if these guys get up now, they're at, like, way less health than they were. 
Okay, they're starting to break through a bit. R -r Reload! Oh, did you hear that? Geist noise, then. Hank, have you missed it? I'm not gonna... I'm not complaining, but did, have you missed it all? I don't think you have. Magnificent. Kill that one, please. Alright, that one's gone as well. Rust, are you up? Careful! Careful. That's a problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, it had to happen eventually. Thought I had more time! Oh my god, that was clutch. That was a clutch dodge. Holy shit. Right. Yeah, but weird ghost noise keeps happening. Interesting. Right, stunned again. This is a perfect time to sort of recover a bit. He says he gets twatted around the head a bit. Careful now. Well, he hasn't got to his health yet, so that's kind of nice. Recover. Anyone who can recover, recover. And that's fine. Sorry! For a good cause, I swear. Damn, man. I think you guys have got this, so that's... That's okay. I hit him in the head. Right, well, he's almost dead, which... I don't know. I'm a little bit like... Is he, though? Excuse me, what the f fuck is this? Ah, uh, I've been rumbled. Well, folks, our enemy, our worst enemy, has appeared. Geists. I mean, it was in his name. I should have. Ex I feel like I should have expected it. Son of a bitch. If we all get screamed out of here, that's it. I mean, a lot of them are taking their time to move in, but how many guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? That's a lot. Aya! Christ on a bike! Oh, well, guess we need to go deal with the geist problem now. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's almost him, I think. Is he gonna respawn? Is he though? Come here, you silly bastard. Right, so we got what? Two, four, six, eight geists. Three fallen heroes. Okay. Okay. Recover. Come down here, recover next turn. You've got a, I'm pretty sure Rob's got a pretty high resolve. 128, yeah, don't mind if he does. Rob could be the linchpin here. Damn it. No, 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 stay down! The man who we always said was going to die because of all his injuries, and he now might be the man who just stands against the Geists. Oh god, I'd love a Bannerman right about now, wouldn't you? The answer is yes, I'd love a Bannerman right about now. I don't think the gun's gonna do much, if I'm being quite honest. Hank! Holding! But I did give Finn rally the troops. As, I, as his last level up, I was like, screw it, someone's gonna need to have it for this last fight. And thank god I did it. It might save our lives here. Legitimately. You don't have to hit much, you just have to hit once. That's all. I sort of assumed that the Rashageist, or the Rahageist was gonna 
if we killed him, he was gonna come back as one of the geists, but I guess not. Come on. This is it. For all the fallen brothers we have lost on the way here. Do it for them. That didn't mean run. Uh, and then switcheroo. There we go. See, that wasn't dangerous at all. I, I knew what I was doing. How far can you get and still uh, do the old scream? Oh. He brought Rust back. Okay, one more down. 50, uh, 56, sorry. Rust! Your daddy's on his way out. Come on. Let's end this series on a high note. That's not what I meant! Oh, Gara got away. Tell our tale if we die! He, he might. Dude! Ruh row. Come on! All you gotta do is hit it once. Come on! Somebody just... Stop watching your brother die. Do something. garrow has gone. Yo, daddy... Here we go out. Okay. Oh, that would have been a great, like, crescendo moment. Oh, well. Too tired to bring them all back. Although, saying that, only two people are running, so... That's actually okay. You're missing a lot of 50-50 rolls here. Just saying. Oh, my God, it's gone. Come on. Follow through. Somebody follow through. Not like that. Rob? He's gonna line up for us, isn't he? Son of a bitch. Hank? Put him where he, be put him where he belongs. Then, a worthy successor to Geji's sword. He's using it with some serious finesse. He's like a... He's like a Geji Eldrak and then a shield bearer hybrid. He, he he wears all his brothers in one. Ah, is this it? You missed a 95 roll. The last roll, and you rolled a 97. Rust, please seal the deal. Is that it? We survived. We didn't even lose anyone. Okay, well, that was... I was expecting that to be... Uh, I probably shouldn't say this, but I was expecting that to be harder. That was easier than the Kraken. I thought it was going to be worse than the Kraken. I thought everybody was going to die. Nobody died. We did it with ten people. And some of us have got permanent injuries now. Oh my god, we did it. And we got the reproach of the old gods. Well, 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 well. Oh, there's no blur at the end of that. Oh my god. That wasn't that bad. I was worrying about that for like, like all week. And it wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well then. Oh god, and Wraith hit level 20 at the end. That's amazing. Well, I'd be remiss not to tr go and try out the sword before we call it a day for the Northern Oath Brotherhood. I'd be pretty remiss not to. So, uh, well, for your great work in that fight, Finn, I'm going to let you use it. Only because there's only two swords people left. But you, if you didn't have... If you didn't resolve check and bring everyone back with Rally, then hell... I don't think we would have survived that. All right, let's uh, let's go dick around with this sword and just try it out for a quick, a hot minute. Cause it looks very cool. First, I'm gonna get some food. I think the brothers deserve that at least. Okay, well everyone's kind of peeled up and armored and fixed. I guess this is sort of like the last hurrah of a contract just to see us off. And of course, it's against Green. This is gonna be like just a pointless contract. This is so anticlimactic. But I really want to try out the sword. And I think Geji would be pretty happy with us murdering some more Greenskins. And then I think there's one more place we should go before we call it a day. I think you don't know where that is. Let's go check out the sword quickly. Alright, Finn. Right, nobody dying in this fight. That would be extremely stupid. So, we've got the sword. Can you get there and hit him? 
Excuse me? Now, I assume it doesn't hit us. Because that would be weird. Incredibly weird. I, I guess we're going to test it. We're going to stress test the sword. And then we'll pass it down through generations to come. And probably eventually lose it. So, it just so happens in the next series, we'll have to go and find it again. <laughs> Funny how that works, isn't it? Now that was a shot. All right. Yeah, shoot again. You stunned Wraith. All right, nice. Just going to get sealed in there, right, buddy? So, smack that guy. That is really cool. And then... Yeah, Congo lines down. That is sick. Where are we at? Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. I am being overly cocky. I probably shouldn't be. Because of that. Oh, wow. Hank, man. Even the people that we hired, like, super recently have been have done great at the end of this series. Like, everyone has paid their dues. Everyone. Oh, but when it... Okay, when they block, it doesn't count. It's very similar to when we fought them. Jesus Christ, I'll just leave that one to you, Hank, shall I? Wow. Boop, boop. Oh, whoops, sorry, that was your kill. Oh, well. Much ado about nothing, eh? I mean, that's just silly. Don't do that. If you, if you, re I assume, if you reposted with it, I don't know, it feels kind of fitting to kill him with the sword. Or not. Garrow? That'll do. <laughs> Alright, okay, so he just ignores armor and does a certain amount of damage through them. That's pretty cool. Pretty spiffing. And also, I'm pretty sure he does more damage than like a regular 50-55. So, yeah, for example, that old sword, let's say that old sword, was 45-50. to 33-95. What's that one? Okay, yeah, so the ignore goes down, but the lightning ignores it anyway so it makes sense okay well that was that was trivial that felt completely trivialized but hey here we are okay let us be off to the north to the last place that we will be visiting i think you all know where that is i'll see you there in a second okay we're here exactly where you thought it would be in the cold reaches of adlerwacht by the mountains the home side of the home territory of the Northern Oath Brotherhood and a place where all of our fallen brothers have late been laid to rest. Now, we haven't buried anyone since the Kraken, so I thought it'd be pretty it'd be a pretty good time to do it now as we close down. So, let us begin the probably the biggest funeral procession we've ever done. Because, man, did a lot of people die to the Kraken. The trek to Adlerwax was a cold and long one as usual, but felt somewhat different this time around. It felt like the end of something and possibly the beginning of something new. The remaining knobs all come to a halt at the place they lay their brothers to rest and begin to dig for the longest time they have had to so far due to the sheer amount of losses from the monstrous beast of beasts, the Kraken. With eight brothers to bury, each knob takes a grave each, and the remaining two ensure the others don't exhaust for lack of eating or drinking. The knobs are a team, after all. Once finished, the knobs, or the remains of the knobs that were devoured, are slowly placed in each grave, side by side. The weapons and armor, now famed across the land, are laying with them, the Oath of Remembrance, now complete. As the cold winds usher through the procession, Fives and Rust notice in the distance, underneath a tree, someone watching the funeral. A young woman, with a babe in arms, the child howling almost as loud as the wind itself, 
She doesn't interfere and only watches from the sidelines as the knobs share their favourite stories amongst themselves in relation to their recent fall of brothers, before praising them one last time. The dirt piles upon their bodies, and just like all previous knobs, the earth of the mountains welcomes them gladly. Once complete, and the knobs turn, the woman is nowhere to be found. Curious, the knobs wonder, but it won't be the last time their paths cross. The wind finally comes to a slow halt, and for once in a blue moon, the mountains clear and the weather subsides, if just for a spell. The feeling that someone or the knobs felt quite close to them had finally passed on. Knowing that the Northern Oath Brotherhood were in good hands, and that he had more than enough brothers on the other side for company. The knobs look on proudly into the mountains, knowing that whilst their story may be coming to a close, others in the world are just beginning. Thank you, my brothers. And with that, and all the legendary locations completed, all the late game crises is all done and dusted, the Northern Oath Brotherhood have completed the tasks that I wanted them to complete at the very start of this series. Now, I know a lot of people will probably be like, well, you could just keep going and keep playing it and just, you know, keep it going and going on episode by episode, but I feel like episode 50 is a pretty good place to call it, and I don't want to just keep repeating the same late game crises over and over and over and over again with this group. I feel like we've sort of done what was needed to be done, and I can be pretty proud in everyone that has taken part in this series and all their characters in that you've done a great job and you've made this series really come alive with all your background stories and the general narrative. It is, once again, sometimes it's the fun that you make that is the most fun. Not quite the game, but the narrative you build yourself. But it's time to press that big button. Ugh. Let's have one last check of the obituary. Uh, I am going to put a little something in at the end of this uh, episode, so, so feel free to stick around until the very end. They might be like a little secret for something that might be on its way after the end of this. Not instantly, but pretty soon. Uh, but wow, 26 men have fallen since we started. Which, on expert, 26 for doing basically the entire content of the game? I wouldn't say it's too bad. I would say that's pretty passable. Round, round of applause and a pat on the back for, for, for Force Ghost Northern, who died quite a while ago, actually. He was the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He was the 10th person to die. <laughs> he was... <laughs> oh, I kind of feel bad for myself now. Oh, well. But I think Force Ghost Northern can finally pass on and entrust the Northern Oath Brotherhood to the rest of these furiously fighting Studious 10. Here we go. Gotta keep putting off pressing the button. But it's time to retire. Yep, I am sure. Oh, this makes me sad. I will leave them in charge, because I trust them. Don't screw it up, guys. Here we go. Behind your leadership, the Northern Oath Brotherhood acquired great fame around the land, not to mention considerable thanks for helping end a series of crises that threatened the entire realm. Mercenaries don't often make it into the history books, but you're no doubt that the scribes and scholars will run out of ink writing about the Northern Oath Brotherhood. Beautiful. Hiroshima, the once caravan hand, retired from fighting. He used his mercenary money to start a trade guarding business that specialised in transporting goods throughout dangerous lands. Garrow, the dayteller, retired from fighting. Oh, well, he just kept working with his hands. I mean, he's got some hands, seriously. Ah, throwing hands. But now he's back to laying bricks and carrying hay instead of slaying beasts and crushing heads. He took all his mercenary money to purchase a bit of land and settle down. Well, not the richest man. Word has it that there is hardly a happier man in the realm. Aw, oh, man. It wasn't the easiest move to leave the company behind. But there's room in your keeper lets you swim around in gold crowns. So it's not too bad. Although in this case, I'm actually dead. So I'm just passing on. Oh, I like, I like the Garrow on Hiroshima. I would have liked to have seen more from, like, the backgrounds of other guys, but, uh, maybe more on that at some point. Anyway, that is going to be the end of the Northern Oath Brotherhood series, but it will not be the end of Battle Brothers on the channel. Stay tuned to see what might be coming next. 
But I have thoroughly enjoyed making this series. Thank you everyone who got involved uh, and took part. Everyone who's commented. Everyone who's just been on the Discord. It's been really, really great. It's really made doing YouTube worth it so far. But as always, if you've enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this series as a whole, feel free to let me know down below. Feel free to join the Discord channel. The North is very much open and welcome to everyone who comes in. The link is in the description below and also on the channel. But feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so the next time we might be going out in Battle Brothers with a completely different group but also might be related to this one maybe as well as the Northerners in Iron Oath and Adventuring Incorporated in Wildermyth. But that's going to be ciao for now from me, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the knobs. Play me out, Johnny. I mean, Johnny's dead, but you know what I mean. Why are you? <laughs> you killed him with a stick. I'm taking some of you with me.